when she was at Mass General Hospital covering another story when she saw an ambulance come rushing to the emergency room and followed immediately behind it was an MIT police campus cruiser. Uh, quickly learned that there was some sort of um, disturbance at the MIT campus. That's and the MIT campus right there, exactly. by the way. Exactly, and, and a huge, not only law enforcement presence converged on the MIT campus, but a huge media presence did as well. And I want to interrupt my, my conversation. Let's go to New Center 5's Kathy Curran, who is on the phone with us now. And Kathy, I understand you have some important information to share. And Liz, actually, multiple law enforcement sources are telling me that the men involved in the shootings at MIT and the shootout in Watertown are, in fact, the Marathon bombers. Sources also telling me one of the suspects has been killed, and there is a foot pursuit. They're still in pursuit of the second suspect, and I'm told that the second person who is still on the loose is the marathon bomber with the white hat. Number two, Sources, right, Kathy? Uh, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, suspect number yeah. two. Yeah. Um, and I'm also hearing that an MBTA police officer has been wounded and is being treated at Mount Auburn Hospital. Um, as far as what's going on out there, I'm hearing that this has been you know, a massive gunfight, that they've been using handguns, and they've also been using small explosives, and they've been lighting them on fire and throwing them at police. But again, um, multiple law enforcement sources are telling me that both of the men involved in this ongoing developing situation are, in fact, the marathon bombers. And, and your sources are telling you that, that uh, same as what Nicole told us on the phone a little while ago, suspect one is killed, right? That's what I'm hearing from law enforcement sources, Ed. So suspect one, if you don't know, folks, if, if you haven't seen the video yet, is the guy in the, on the left of the screen there. He's the, got the darker hat on and the sunglasses. Yes, and, and, and Kathy, um, so we can, we can connect the dots here that if, in fact, this MIT um, incident where the MIT campus police officer was killed around 10.45 um, on Thursday evening, then moved to a carjacking situation um, at 816 Memorial Drive. Are your sources telling you that that is connected to this incident as well? Yes, sources are telling me that this all started over at MIT uh, with the shooting of the MIT police officer. Then there was a carjacking that led to the chase that led to Watertown. Um, hearing that the MBTA police officer was actually wounded um, during the chase um, or, or immediately after the chase that there was gunfire, and that's when the MBTA police officer let, let, was wounded. Let's go back to MIT, if you can, and I'm not sure you can answer the question, Kathy, but, but, but why was there a confrontation at MIT? Were, were they recognized, I guess, is the question I'm asking you. Um, I'm not sure at this point of that, Ed, but I'm trying to work to get more information on that. So we, we, we can also substantiate the MBTA police officer wounded. We had, we had heard from eyewitness accounts, and I believe it might have been from Shane, uh, who works here at Channel 5, who said that he saw um, uh, an officer on a gurney being wheeled to an ambulance. It was unclear at that point in time uh, which you know, um, officer it was, because there's so many law enforcement on scene right now, but that, that officer was conscious and, um, and talking to the other officers on, uh, in the area. So do we have any word on that officer or how serious his injuries are, Kathy? Um, I, I do have some information on that, Liz, but I, I really don't want to go there at this point. Okay. Um, but they, they are very serious.